SpongeBob. <laughs> and we're live. Whoop, whoop. Woo. Welcome Woo. back to the uh, the Pure Soul campaign. We are still minus a ranger, but maybe we'll maybe we'll get rich in about somewhere through it after we do all the fun stuff. <laughs> but um, last we left off was a, a bit of a side quest. For, the best uh, side quest ever. For the lovely Maria, as we I were good side, side quest. figuring out what Maria was doing while the rest of the, uh, the party were off having their own individual adventures with Dahlia booking her gigs and uh, Noswin uh, failed assassination attempts and and Shaka arranging mouth. transportation for uh, smuggling out uh, a father and his son who were present at the Candlewood uh, massacre. But Maria was going on a date. Not just any date, but with a familiar bard, uh, Miguel, a, for, uh, a, clo a long old friend of Dahlia's from Lomare. Tiefling man with a uh, charm and always willing to have a good time. Of course, Dalio can just go on any date looking the way I'm sorry, Dalio. Maria couldn't just go on a date just in her regular dress. She, no, no, no. She had to get a new dress and found herself in the upper echelons of uh, Serene, the uh, upper end district where, you, where you're more along the riverside where you can see out into the wide river in the center of that wide river is the uh, guiding river monastery kind of in its own little island amongst the bass river that that hugs serene maria found her way into a lovely uh dress shop and smoothly skillfully <laughs> put on the most expensive dress in the shop and just booked it right out of there a dress that is magically enchanted with the uh, uh, starry night sky. So every time she moves, the, the, the dress and starlight kind of trails along with it. It is a high-end dress uh, from Lomer. Those of you from Campaign 1 might recognize the kind of attire as an Andwell's original. Running away from the, the dress shop, being yelled at the, the 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 shopkeeper, ducked in, went through a bakery shop, and found her way back into the uh, kind of the the, the central uh, part of Candlewood to go on her date with Miguel. The date didn't go as planned as they were going to actually stay in the have a nice little dinner and watch the show at the sunset window. However, Miguel has had uh, run-ins with the uh, owner, specifically the owner's wife. So it was promptly thrown out. Maria followed Miguel to his rented cabin to continue the date. However, once she put Miguel in a compromised position, decided to <laughs> have lunch. However, through a series of unfortunate roles, Miguel was able to charm his way out, figuratively and literally. <laughs> <laughs> a failed hunting attempt squashed. Maria grabbed, stole a few more bottles of the wine that Miguel generally has in his cabin, walked down the street and broke her diet <laughs> with a fat dwarf in an alleyway. <laughs> but satiated made her way back to uh, ja Sensei da Jack's Dojo, where they are spending the night. The party rest, but are sh woken up by the sound of a variety of intruders seeking to get back what is theirs, which being money from Sensei Jack, but they, are, they have bombarded the dojo armed and looking for a fight. Please roll initiative. Woo! All right. All right. And that's rolling um, your dex modifier, right? Dirty so. 20. 
D20 is your D20 plus your death modifier. Yo! Your D D Beyond should uh have I'm that. Evil. Yo, 30, 20. 20 plus the one for my deck, so 21. 21. Good stuff. I started with a nat 20. Oh my gosh. Nice. <laughs> Hope it doesn't use up all your good rolls first. I know. Don't jinx it! Don't jinx it! I mean, it jinxes itself if you start rolling good looking, first. I'm not going to get this horse in the mouth here, okay? Well, what we got, Maria? A two. A two. Well, a four with my initiative bonus, so a four. Okay. All righty. Although it's Boy. probably a good thing that the barbarian is going first. Higher. Are we are we communicating? Are we gonna talk to them out of this, or is this gonna be the fight hands? I, I don't the think they're here to already. talk, man. Okay. Okay. Let me roll. Ooh. Okay. For that guy. Eleven for those guys. Yeah, six, seven. All righty, give me a moment. I'm gonna share screen. Do, do, do. And we're gonna. We've got a map. Map, 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 map. All righty. So easy enough for me to move your guys' character. We're gonna try it this way for a bit. All righty. So at the top of our initiative order, you, as you guys see, bang through the gates of Sen you can well hearing just uh, bang through the gates of Sensei Jack's JoJo. You see a large Goliath with an axe stomping up the yard. You see another guy. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven armed individuals storming the gates to get what is theirs. And you just see a barbarian Goliath saying, Jack, come out. Dahlia. You are first to act. All right. So I see this shit. I'm like, nope. I see he's got an axe. I'm going to take, got to make sure I grab my great club and my vicious battle axe just to be on the safe side. Mostly mm -hmm. I'll have my battle axe, uh, not my battle axe on my back mm -hmm. and my great club ready because, like, I don't want to reveal just yet. I've got magic weapon. Okay. And I'll come down. I'll be like, I got your back, Jack. And I'll kind of like, I'll, I'll see the Goliath and try to go for the big guy first. And uh, before that starts, though, I'm going to rage. There you go. Muscles tense up. Heartbeat just starts ramping. Sweat brewing. and you, ah! <sighs> So we're going to the Goliath? Yep. And yeah. I'm going yeah. to... Yeah. Over to the Goliath. Yep. And I'm just going to... Do an underhand swing and try and swing at his nuts. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Going she straight for dirty. a nut shot. She's straight for the She's family jewels. The okay. Wow. Marion style. Go ahead and roll to hit. All right. Um, what do I add for that? Let's see. You're doing your your great club or your vicious battle axe. I'm doing my great club first. That's uh, a plus six to hit. So you roll d20 and it's a plus six. 19 plus 6, 19, 20, 21, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25. 25, it hits. Row damage. Fuck yeah. And that's, let's see, 1d8. Let's be 8d8. That's 6. 8, here you are. <laughs> that's an 8! And then I'm also raging, so does that add 2 plus da damage? So, 9, 10. Ten, nice, nice. Uh, uh, as let's see, minus. You go and swing. He's oh he's wait, uh, wait, God, that's uh, pl also D eight plus three, so ten, 11, 13. 
13. Cool, cool, cool. Because it's, it's a great club. Gotcha. All right. As you swing up, going for his nuts, he kind of cover. He's like, oh! <laughs> yes, he is <laughs> petrified of the <laughs> potential, you know. And this thing's got like nails in it, too. And, like, they're like, days got real, real for him very quickly. And he got nice. nervous. And he covers up as you see your your axe cuts up, but it seems like it doesn't do as much damage as the initial swing does, as this man is also raging, as this bar- oh. barbarian is soaking in some of the slashing damage. But Sheesh. do you have a bonus action or movement you would like to do? Um, I see that, and I kind of pull back and try to bop him in the nose with like the with the club. <laughs> Row to hit. Okay, ten plus uh, ten plus uh, hit dice. Um, ten. Uh, that's a sixteen. Sixteen to hit. It as you go and try to bob him in the nose, he just kind of moves his head around, and you <laughs> miss your target. Any uh, movement you would like to do? I'll just try to like, kind of like shimmy out of the, like, just so I'm like somewhat out of range. Oh, you want to try to back out? Yeah. Oh, like just it. enough to be out of range. If it, in case he starts swinging, then I can just like kind of fade or slip it. Okay, let me, oh, come on. Because I know he's going to retaliate from that. Well, Back out of his shot range. And now. that'll be it. All righty. Nazwin, you are up. All right. Um, where am I? You're located? in the center of the kind of little walking they can space. See, they can see me already then. Oh, yeah. The There's a lot. Like, the doors are wide open. It's dojo style. So the doors are wide open. It's kind of easy to see you guys. And one and Dolly did just start charging right out to swipe at a guy's <laughs> nuts. So, yeah, they're aware of you guys. All right. Um, you can, but there are plenty of places to kind of duck, duck behind if you want to use an action to hide. Nah. I was going to try to sneak attack, but I have to be hidden first. Uh, I want to... Um... Dang, the dude who's fighting with Dahlia currently, mm-hmm. uh, can I go ahead and hit him with my rapier? Of course. You wanna, so we're going to 5, 10, 15, 20 feet. Is he 20 go. feet? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, yeah. Sheesh. Oh, wow. That's great. I love that for me. Um, <laughs> That's a nine to hit. Nine to hit, unfortunately, as you go to try to cut out him again, he moves out the way from your blow. Unfortunate. Uh, Bonus action? Not without two, not without the two weapon. Uh, I can. Do, 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 do. I am going to disengage using cunning action, and that's gonna yeah. be that's gonna be it. Okay. Disengage. Actually, hold up. You can just no, I can, I can hide from this. Uh, let me actually hide after that. I miss and then I hide. You miss and then hide. Yeah. Uh, I think hiding takes an action. Can you? It's hide? a cunning, cunning action is a bonus yeah. action that includes dash, disengage, or hide. Oh, okay. Where are we hiding? Um, man, wherever's out of this guy's <laughs> line of view. I mean, you, you, you tell me, buddy. You got. You know, you got some bushes over here. You got some rocks. <laughs> you can go back inside the house. Yeah, are those bushes also to the left right there? Yep, these are bushes, and there's also a guy right there. But if oh, you shit. roll good enough hide and... <laughs> uh, Yeah, I'm going to try to hide in the bushes to the left. <laughs> this might be foolish. Okay, hold on. All right, we're going to go right in here. Yeah. Okay, roll that. Uh, roll. Give me a stealth check. That is oh wow beautiful thank you thank you so much I rolled a twenty nine you are hitting hey. <laughs> you literally as you go and 
huh, and you try to stab at him. You distract him when he dodges, and then when he tries to, you know, kind of get a grab of you, you just duck right under him, and when he turns around, you're gone. Watch this. <laughs> Sorry. All righty. So now. Yeah, that's it for me. All righty. So it's going to be our. Let's see. Let's get some. It's time for some of our guys to get going. This guy right here is doesn't see you. So five. Okay. And going to the. Going to our lovely Dahlia. And it's going to try to swipe with his sword. Let's see. Does a 12 hit? It's uh, me to beats it. My armor class is 12. Oh, it's 12. Wow, you need to get some armor on you. I know. Why are you but doing? What are you do, doing buying do brass it? knuckles? <laughs> Man, <whoa. laughs> Priorities. Listen, listen, she didn't have proper training, all right? She learned how to fight on the streets and in fight pits, all right? She's not classically trained. She wouldn't know to get armor. She just knows you get hit, you hit back harder. Sheesh. But can I All can right. I do an action in combat? Can I do opportunity attack? Uh, only if she, uh, like you only get opportunity attack if the person leaves your if this guy tries to leave out of your uh, pe- uh out of uh battle with you. Okay. Like if he tries to get out without using the disengage action. So okay. He, well, luckily I'm raging, so that gives me a little bit of like. Yeah. So like normally it, he rolled low, so normally it would be two damage, but you are raging, so we cut that down in half, so you take one slashing damage. So it just it just barely nicks you as he uh, goes in to try to also swipe at you. Guy number two. Oh, come on. One, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. It's going to attempt to surround you. Oh, of course. The fellas can't get enough of me. They, they, you, they, they like you, uh, Dahlia. Hello, they're big fans. They're uh, such big fans. Hold oh, tight, please, Dahlia. Please, if you wanted autographs, boys, all you had to do was ask. <laughs> that's 21 to hit. Oh, but, yep, that's... that's you take... Hit. Uh, that's seven damage, so we reduce that to three. All righty. Three damage. Still doing good. Still doing good. And now it's this guy's turn. Guy who's in much more uh, stacked armor and uh, is armed with a light crossbow is going to kind of veer off to the side, line up his shot to shoot you with a crossbow. Oh, joy bunnies. Uh, that's a that's a miss. The crossbow just lodges in the in the uh, wooden uh, panel next to you. Guy misses his shot wide. This guy, because they are all moving. Let's see. He's going to attempt to see if he can find the the tabaxi that just just dipped on them. He's going to roll. Which, of course, is a fail because you roll like a 20 billion to... Right, mate. <laughs> Very good at hiding. Swords so, Now for guy number three. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's going to get behind you. But then... Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> This one is going to attack with advantage, as now you are officially being flanked. Damn it. So we're going to... All right, Sorry, that's definitely mate. a hit, but let's see if I can get a natural 20. Ah. I promise if you hold out, I've got one for this, mate. Uh, she don't go down. She don't go down easy. Yeah, oh, uh, so that's a 20 to hit. And right. this one's also going to come at you with the sword. Where that... is Samurai and Jack? <laughs> Probably have sleeping My... off a hangover. That's exactly where he is. Fuck it, A. I knew it. <laughs> Why isn't he helping? He is currently in his bed upstairs taking a snooze. God damn it. Oh, 
fuck, and none of us called him before we started fighting. I thought I thought he was coming down. I was like, I said, I got your back, Jack. And I was like, what? fuck! <laughs> <laughs> so that's six damage, but it's going to be reduced to three. All righty. Thank you, Rage. Mike stitched us. <sighs> you see the individual all the way in the back who's just been kind of looking, seeing how the battle plays out. Just... 15, 20, 25, 30. And just kind of stays there, seemingly holding an action. And <laughs> does it for their turn. It's now time for the Barbarian. Who All right. Well, it's quite upset that someone just swiped at his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and five. Oh, and hit that Barbarian, not this Barbarian. Hey, Move out the way! And he goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> Gotta love barbarians. Everyone, cry. oh Jesus! All right. Oh, he seems oh, a bit no. mad. You think? Oh man, this guy. Gee, this I guy wonder why. Hard. He takes out a massive great axe. Seventeen to hit. That it hits. And. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's um. Hmm. You take eight. Does that take... get halved? That's halved of seventeen. Four. I round down. For oh, you. that's eight. oh damn. Yeah, he hits hard. Okay. Okay. Definitely got to get some armor. All right. So first, I'm gonna switch out my. Oh, oh wait. He sorry. Ain't sorry. <laughs> he ain't done. He ain't done. Right. I forgot. Oh, oh this guy has. That's two attacks. <laughs> oh, he he has more than two. We. Okay, guys, maybe this wasn't a good idea. <laughs> oh, that was that, that next one was a uh, eleven to hit. So that that next swing, that misses, ooh, you that just misses. duck right under the great axe, and then now he's coming down for one last swing. That's ooh, that's fourteen to hit. That hits, and you take six, thirteen. You take another six slashing damage. All right. Thank God for rage. Maria, <laughs> you are up. You see, she is. You see, Dahlia is getting swarmed by guys. What would you like okay. to do? Um, would getting Jack be an action? Uh. Depends how are you if you're just gonna yell out, I'll allow that to just you can just something you say within six seconds and I can roll to see if he wakes up. Or if you're gonna actively go and wake him up to guarantee that, then that would be a full action. I feel like Yeah, I'm gonna go wake him up. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> this is not a fight. <laughs> so you you go to the left. You, you take a quick... Oh, sorry. No, that's you. So here's the thing. There's the stairs. Yeah. These are a few guys in your way. So are you just going to run past and uh, go up the stairs? So that's going to make an opportunity attack, right? You're you're not engaged with them. So no, they won't make an opportunity attack. I'll just have... You have to make some type of... You, I'll just... You have to roll like I a feel like they'd be too busy focusing to on the one get that a, tried to... to get around. Because there's a lot of bodies crowding around a specific area that you're trying to get through. Actually... So it would be a base dexterity check just to kind of maneuver around. How well do we even know, Jack? Because... You not this. that well. <laughs> yeah, fuck this. I'm going to... Okay... Is it possible to cast minor illusion of a Ajax running up the stairs? Minor illusion is how, how big is the minor illusion? Um, let me just check. Five on foot cube. A five foot cube. Jack. I mean, you can make a five foot version of Jack. You. He'll... He's a little like it. It'd be like blinking. You miss. Uh, blinking. So you're just trying it. to make. You're trying to cast a spell to see if it. If they assume Jack is running up the stairs. Yes, like there he is, right there. Okay, all right. Let's see who goes for it. Your spell DC is spell DC. Spell DC is fourteen. Fourteen. So 
we will do so 14 let's see anybody's passive perception if they're gonna so we'll do an insight i uh, see if they even notice We'll see. If, we'll do an insight to see if they notice him, because they are kind of in the middle of something. Yeah, kind of focused on the. <laughs> well, the I'm pairing it with the. To take one there stuff. he is, right there. Gotcha. <laughs> so I'll let I'll tell you that I'll roll with I'll have them roll technically with disadvantage to see or advantage to to catch the illusion. So okay, all right. So considering where the illusion is. The one, two, three, these four guys would even notice it. So let's see. And we need to get these guys off of Delhi. <laughs> Please. Okay. So you do notice that when you make you cast a spell of Jack running up the stairs, you do hear uh, the warrior that's right in front of you. It's like, oh, there he is. <laughs> and you, you see that uh, two of the guys look over. But the the guy who almost got his nuts cut off still seems pretty focused <laughs> on um, <laughs> on Dahlia. But you did seem like you you out of the four you Nets caught has a goal. the ones closest <laughs> to the illusion they catch the spell and are like they, they have noticed Sensei Jack go upstairs. So they won't attack Dahlia, but instead go get Jack. We'll see. But uh, they seem like they are. <laughs> They are, they're noticing, and they seem like briefly distracted by this illusion. Well, that's all I got. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my action. Um, bonus action hide. Bonus action hide. Roll, roll stealth. Okay. Let's see what my stealth is. It is plus five. I'm super stealthy. Uh, that is a natural 20. Nice. Yay! 25. So where are we hiding? Um I'm not trying to leave my friends out in the open. I just want to hide where I can still shoot some stuff if needed. So just kind uh, of behind the behind the staircase a little bit right here. Yes. Yeah, okay. So you uh, go away. All right. <laughs> so right here, you still got line of sight. You could still kind of flick off one guy, two guys. Doesn't seem like they're even noticing you. You seem like you are thoroughly well hidden. Let's see. Oh, hold on. I don't feel good about this fight. <laughs> it's winnable. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. I don't know. Action economy is the death of fun. <laughs> <laughs> but not... Totally impossible. No, it's not. Yeah. No, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. I'm an optimist, all right? All right. Like, by I'll the way, you guys all should have had a full rest by now. So just in case there were some spell slots that you guys were missing, you guys should have those back by now. Goody, goody. And... Oh, I got plans, all right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I got Pull plans. Up. Apologies in advance. Uh, Hold on. Okay. So coming down from the from the stairway, person who did hear you, Shaka, comes running down, seeing the kerfuffle that is happening. <laughs> yeah, kerfuffle. <laughs> and <laughs> going to take out his uh his longbow and start <laughs> Taking some shots. Um, let's hold okay. on. No, guys, everyone's a little a fraction too close for liking. So he's gonna actually instead go for his short sword and going to swing at the warrior that's directly behind Dahlia. And that's a hit. So oh, wrong one. And seven damage for that guy. Looks like that one kind of... Oh, wrong guy. Aha. That guy. That one seems like it really hurt him. Really hurt him bad. 
And he's going to follow up with another swing. Hits again. And... Don't start acting up on me now. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And that guy is done, Skeets. Oh, yeah. These guys are easy. Woo! I mean, as long as you don't let them get, on, get one in on you. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you don't try to immediately go for the nut? I mean, it's, you know, sometimes. It, it was a character. Sometimes things are only hard because there's a lot of them. But not so much that they mm -hmm. take a lot to hurt. So um, that is his two strikes. So for Shaka's bonus action. Thank you, Shaka. Let's see. And yeah, two. Now uh, he'll hold off on that, and that will just he'll just stay where he is, kind of guarding the the stairwell. And that will do it for his turn. And we're going to move it on to what's going on upstairs. And we're going to see if Jack wakes up. <laughs> Come on, man. That was a six. So, <laughs> rolls over. Sleeping Ugh. hard. <laughs> what was in that drink? And or any of the other 15 drinks that he had before. <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia, you are up. All right. So this fucker tried to like take like swing at me. It got me. I don't like that. So I'm gonna switch out my great club for my axe for my vicious axe for one for one thing. Okay. And, and I'm gonna, gonna drop the glove and you break out that axe, it starts glowing noticeably enchanted magic. And it's almost like the second you break out a shining weapon, there's a little bit of a recoil from everyone who's fighting you because like, oh shit, she got heat. It's like yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna go for, I'm gonna go for the big guy first. But I'm gonna fake to go for his nuts, but then go for his head. There you go. Roll to hit. Come on. Okay, uh, 11 plus six. That is a 17. 17. You go to Sween, and then he <laughs> blocks your strike with ah. the with the blow. Not enough to hit. All right, then she sees this and just with like a rage cry, takes the axe, beats the pommel down on the ground, and instead casts. Sorry, guys, thunderclap. Okay, what's the range? That range is gonna be a hundred feet. Oh, it's a hundred foot radius, or you create a burst of thunderous sound that can be heard up to a hundred feet away. Each creature within range, other than you, must succeed a Constitution saving throw to take or take one d six thunder damage. Sorry, guys. Bloody hell! What is this? Hey, if there's a chance of taking more of them out at one time, and y'all are at full oh, health, don't worry. The, don't worry. the range is five feet. So oh, it, it is a five? It, it can be heard. Up to 100 feet away. Okay. But only people within a five foot radius of the spell. But they're all close in on me. Oh, don't worry. If you're, if because you are, well, Shaka's going to get it. But, <laughs> but you are right out of range, Noswin. Awesome. <laughs> if, if you're, if, are you saying, are you the epicenter? Yeah, I'm okay. the epicenter. So you're just, okay, go ahead. Describe how Dahlia casts his thunderclap. Kind of just that, like, ah! and then it just like, Boom, slams it on the slams the pommel on the ground like just taking a knee like superhero landing kind of thing and it just shoots out like very like kiss like kiss like sh like stage works kind of like 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 special effects kind of like burst uh, bye buddy awesome awesome all righty let me uh just check the uh let's see and that is a cantrip so i don't have to roll for it nope nice. I, it's a constitutional saving throw from all these guys what's your spell dc 
Uh, they gotta, they gotta break a, they gotta make pass a um attack save con fifteen. Fifteen con save or take one d six damage, or take. I've been wanting to use that spell. And what level? And you're at fit level, so it's two d six. Yep. Okay, that's a good spell. All righty. I've been wanting uh, to use this spell. All righty. Let's uh, let's see. We got. One guy already dead, so Bandit two, Goliath, Bandit one. I have to make, have to make saves. Okay, Bandit one. Let's see. That guy makes a save. Damn it. Uh, let's see, Bandit two. Oh no! I, did I roll the wrong guy? Oh no! I roll. I roll for the wrong person. So all right, let me re-roll for that. Let me re-roll for that. Uh, still saved. But the second bandit rolled did not roll well. Uh, let's see, Goliath. Let's see the Goliath. Oh, he has a high con save. Oh, but rolled a two, so he. <laughs> and time for Noswin. <laughs> Yeah. And, I like, and I like look at look up at him like straight in the eye, just like wild eye as it hits him. Like the wife in particular. <laughs> okay, roll damage. 2d6. Alrighty. 2d6. 2d6. I'm gonna go with sparkles. Ha! <laughs> that is a let's see. <clears throat> that is a seven. Seven damage from 2d6. So Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wrong person. Let me put that back on there. Uh, where are you, Shaka? There you are, Shaka. Shaka takes seven damage. Sorry, Shaka. And we're going to go to bandit number two, who took seven damage. And the other two saved. So, um, yeah, good hit. Good hit. Anything else you'd like to do? <laughs> Oh, I'm still is. raging, so I can do a second uh, bonus action attack. So go for I'm gonna it. like, so I'm gonna take my axe, swing up, and then again, go for the Goliath, <laughs> swing it up between the legs. Going for the nuts, roll to hit the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling to hit nuts. Eighteen <laughs> to hit plus nuts. eighteen plus six, so eighteen, nineteen, twenty-two, one, two, three, two, three, twenty-four, and then, yep, that's a hit. <laughs> That's a hit. Roll damage. <laughs> oh, I love this. Let's see. Roll damage. That's one d eight. There you are. Uh, that's cocked. Cocked again. I gotta get a new board. Okay. Uh, two plus uh six, so that's eight, and then plus two, so that's ten. Ten, and as this is a magical weapon, he takes full damage. As <laughs> as you full nut damage up his right up Please his front, up, up his, he you, you just see his rage. He says, "Oh she, oh she got one, oh she got one." <laughs> <laughs> I cleaved the cojones. As he went to the to use that pun. Horrible. I ever want to use horrible. But uh <laughs> does that anything you would like to do? Uh, I think that's all I can do. All Maybe righty. I'll try to get out of the way, but you know, I'm probably I'm surrounded. There's really not much I can like <laughs> get out of the way of. So Alrighty. I'm just gonna like get myself like ready so I'm not as prone. Gotcha. So uh Noswin, you are up. Um <laughs> all right, I'm going to the guy who just got hit in the nuts, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him with the crossbow. Shoot him with a crossbow. Do I am he I cool is in the You have he's having a bad day. Yeah, he's his bad day is gonna end real soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Advantage. Oh wow. <laughs> uh rolled a 14 to hit. 14. That's a miss. Wow, with advantage, my life. With advantage. <laughs> just wow. 
Again, the <laughs> crossbow lodges into a nurse uh, wooden bean. Lame. Super lame. Uh, damn. Oh, I could have done that. Oh, well. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. I'm, that's it for me. That's it. That's it. All righty. Yeah. Bandit. The next bandit, who was originally going to swing at um, at uh, Dahlia, now whizzing through his ear was a crossbow. <laughs> so he's going to go like, what the fuck? And going to exactly. turn around. Distraction. It's a distraction boat. <laughs> it's going to go try to swipe at you. Let's see what his... Over there with his sword. Ooh, that's a natural 20. Wow. He hit me in the bush? Well, (laughs) you were no longer hidden because you did not take a bonus action to hide after you've already... uh... Because you made your appearance known by coming out and shooting. So if you wanted to hide again, you would have to use a bonus action to hide. I was shooting from the bush. Which then you were hitting, all right, and all then right. the bush now shoots arrows, so people are taking notice of it. <laughs> Gotta all hide. Right. Don't forget to bonus action Ooh, hide. Had to rehide. All right. Gotta rehide every time you come out and take a shot. You gotta all rehide. Right. Boy, you hit me. <laughs> so he's uh natural twenty. So you take. Oh, you fucking kidding me? Uh, <laughs> you take three. You rolled a That's one. Fine. He rolled a one, so double the one, two. So you take three uh, slashing damage. So you come in. He's like, oh, shit, it's coming. But he's just, his arm's not that strong. So the blow is not that bad. You know, you're like, oh, this guy's a punk. Mike, you made a fight to mistake swinging at me. Bandit number two, kind of confused as he's still distracted. Now that it's his turn, distracted by that quick illusion from sensei jack coming up and then shaka coming down kind of crossing through the loot it's just it's jack up and and he just can't figure it out so blows his turn trying to figure out what was going on and now warrior this let's see number a this guy chilling in the back is also going to try to come at aid his buddy in the bush 5, 10, 15, jumps to the butch. 20, 25. Gonna try to strike at you. As he takes out his sword. I'm using digital dice and it just rolled another natural 20. Wow. I'm sorry. Wow. I, <laughs> it just did. It just did. But let's see if it does that. Ooh. So that's max damage. So you take oh, no. you take thirteen slashing damage. As you just see, cut it jumping through and slashes right along your back, cutting through. And this is this is me. Yes, you, man. That's All right, you, I'm, bro. Gonna, I'm gonna half that with the cutting with uh. What is that? With that thing? thing you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. So uh take hey. six off of that. Right. Hey that's when when you get when you get scratched, do you make a cat sound like Rah! <laughs> <laughs> you Maybe. I've just I screamed out in, in British. Ah! <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> no, that's a that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a, Australian. That's Australian. That's screaming out in, in <laughs> crocodile hunter. Yeah. <laughs> so second guy he's gonna try to come at you we're gonna use regular dice that's a he see this is why i should always roll digital because i just wrote a natural one so ha! nice warrior comes out trying to swipe at you fumbles kind of falls down a little bit you have an attack of opportunity nice uh we're gonna rapier him rapier that guy <laughs> That's that, a, 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 saying that out loud. I know. I didn't like it after. Like I immediately like it after I, I said it, I said, "Oh, yeah, no." Yeah, that, that is that that that, that 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 uh not a good cacophony of words. Mm-mm. No, no, that's an eighteen no to hit though. That does hit. 
Uh, damn, I really hate that I just used that and deleting this whole VOD. Uh, <laughs> D8. That, oh man, that's max damage. That's uh, 8, 9, 2, 12 damage. Ooh, he is <laughs> fucked up. Uh, <laughs> you come in with a rapier and just <laughs> and like literally get one right through his torso and <laughs> pull it out. He is bleeding profusely he is really hurt very much in pain and stumbling lovely i hate mouth breathless let me give you a new hole to breathe through vicious vicious very, very mean <laughs> now up oh, nope that guy's dead all right the monk my 10 15 20, 25, 30. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. Going in. 5, 40. Cool. Leave it right there. And Goliath. She got my nuts. She hit him. She, she, he's going to try to come at you one more time. Let's see. Roll the dice. All right. Oh, hold up. I What's can up? use. There's a spell I can use as a re, as a reaction. I'd have to. I'd have to drop my rate. This one rage to do it, but I'm yeah. gonna use. Can I use it as a, a reaction? Uh what's the spell? Hellish rebuke. Oh, and I believe you have to I've take damage for that first. Ah. Let me see. Let me just double check the. Yeah. Let me double check too. Uh, action. Because again, I'm still yeah. used. I'm still getting you used to use spells. You can use as a reaction. Yes. Yeah. So if he damages you again, you can. If so, if you get damaged, you can use Hellish Rebuke as a bonus, okay. as a reaction. Okay. Sweet. But it has to be after uh you get after you know, I get hit. Okay. Yeah. So that's how reactions work. Okay. Yeah. Well, reaction. You know, you when someone tries, it depends on which reaction spell you're using, but generally reactions are uh with someone successfully doing something. You know. Okay. Yeah, that's a new one for me. Okay, cool. That's a good move. Trust me, Hellish Rebuke can fuck someone up. So, hmm. alrighty. So, all right, Goliath's going for it. That's a six. So that doesn't hit. All right, second hit. Oh my god. Um, let's see, nine. Oh, that's one. This is a fourteen to hit. That is a hit. That's oof, man. AC's, you really... AC's twelve. I need to get armor. Jeez, Louise. You take uh <laughs> four damage. You take four. That's already half for you. It was eight. Let's drop that down to four. Thank you. And last swing. Ooh, that's only eleven to hit. So it seems like the 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 fact that he is profusely bleeding out of um, <laughs> as he's trying and... to like hold pressure down. Onto his wound and swinging with one hand, um, but you, he does strike you. Are you going? So to I can, I'm going to use hellish rebuke. Awesome, awesome. Um, describe to me how Dahlia casts hellish rebuke. Well, it says you point a finger at a creature, so of course I'm gonna give him the middle finger. There you go. There you and go. And cash, and then like it starts to just go up in flames, and I cast hellish rebuke. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Let me see. <laughs> and you gotta make a dexterity save saving throw. Fifteen, yeah. And uh, what what's what level you're casting this spell at? I'm casting this spell at first level. Okay, first level. So it's going to be a two d ten if he fails the DC the the spell save is two or half. So it's getting hurt no matter what. So go ahead and roll damage. And on a failed, he takes full damage. On a Ooh. on a fail, he takes full damage. On a success, he takes half. Okay, two uh, two ten. So let's see, um, ten is that's not that one. Yeah, yeah. Which dice is ten again? Oh, this one. Here we go. Ha! Okay, that's a um. Oh no, wait! I used the wrong die for that one. Um. Sorry, let me try. So that one was one of them was a nine, and I'm gonna roll this one because that's the correct die. Ah! 
<laughs> that was a uh, that was another nine. Nice, eighteen. So, eighteen plus. plus. Uh, let's see. I don't get any. Um, yeah, so that's an eighteen. Eighteen, nice. Um, unfortunately, you did roll a twenty-two for uh, his dexterity save, so takes nine damage. That's so. That's so good. As you, this flames just start burning, and it's, uh, and it's just kind of trying to wipe off the flames as some of his armor, is, some of his clothes, his leather straps are trying to catch, and he's trying to bat out the flames. <laughs> And Maria, you are up. Okay, how is Bandit 2 looking? Bandit 2. Uh, let's see. Bandit 2. Looking kind of rough. Looking uh, kind of rough. Let's not play games. I'm going to shoot a uh, Eldritch Blast at the guy. Eldritch Blast. Go for it. May I? Um, do I get sneak attack damage on this? Do you have um Elder's Blast? Let me see. Elder's Blast. He is engaged. <laughs> if you have that as a let me see. Do 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 do. I'll give you advantage. Yeah, you do have sneak attack. Yeah, this will be sneak attack. Yeah. Okay, so I get advantage on this one, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, you are what it hitting. is an 18 plus 6, that is a 24. That hits. So, a 1d10 plus 2d6. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a 3, a 5, and an 8. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. 16 damage? Yo. Yeah. I don't know why you hiding around. You got some punch to you. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Listen. Little lady stuff that she Last cannons. We mess with Dahlia. No more games. <laughs> so describe to, describe to me how Maria's Elders Blast just fucking wrecks this dude. Okay. Um, I would like to reach out my hand and like all the veins in my hand start like pulsating black a little bit. And I go bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Classy. Going right through the guy, doesn't even see it. It just goes right Ew. through his face, out the other end, and he just collapses onto the ground. Mate, you've got that, and you've been hiding this whole time. Well, <laughs> the Are you telling me you could have done that in the first fight? <laughs> listen, listen, I did. I missed. Th that's true. You did miss a lot in that first fight. Uh, this is, now seeing the actual power <laughs> that is inside Maria, this is all right. What else would you like? Bonus action, movement. Um, um, let's do bonus action hide again. Go for it. Roll, roll stealth. Okay, stealth is plus five. Uh, there's an eleven plus five. There's a sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Do 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 do. do. Warrior. <laughs> Where are you guys? All right. Luckily, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. You you feel pretty well hidden. Sweet. And that's now is up to Shaka. Shaka is going to kind of kind of peer out, put his uh sword away, break out his long bow, and he's just he's like, uh he might want to duck as he looks over at Dahlia and he takes a shot. Yeah, I'll yeah, duck. that one didn't hit. Takes another shot. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> let me see. Does that even hit? Oh no, it doesn't hit the Goliath. So, uh huh. Let's see. What about this? He's gonna have to do some stuff. Duck my ass, you goose. Get it, duck goose. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> so you see him um he just like ah, he just kind of not he just kind of shrieks in annoyance but instead on a bonus action you see him gesture some arcana um words and a little bit of green lands on the barbarian and a almost like um like a little seed 
and that kind of sticks to his chest and little vines start slowly creeping out of it. Doesn't do anything just yet, but that's his, uh, begins the, the incantation of ensnaring strike on the bar on the Goliath. And that will do it for his turn. Shit happening upstairs. All right, Sensei Jack. Let's see. <laughs> Wake up, fucker. With the elders blast and people the dying. And the thunder wave. You know what? You're right. You did do a thunder wave. So I want to let this be advantage because he just wrote a four. So I'm gonna allow this mm -hmm. to be advantage of him waking up. The sound. Yeah, because like he must have heard the thunderclap. Of course, he would. He would have yeah. heard the thunderclap. So this seems like it should be a advantage roll. So let's see. Okay. <laughs> fucking. Ah, oh, fucking. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, he just kind of gets up and he, and he slowly goes oh, downstairs. Five, ten. <laughs> hey, Shaka. Hey, Shaka, man. What's going on? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> this fucker. <laughs> Let's see. But that was his action to wake up. Let's see what he got. Let's see what I can. Sheesh. Let's see what he got. Come on, Jack. What, what you got? I say we Hi. rob him. I want to rob Jack. <laughs> Mike, you can't you just want to rob Jack. everyone. <laughs> no. Give us a place to stay. And put us in danger. True, but he also, but he also backed me up against that asshole at the bar. Mm -hmm. As he uh, <laughs> looks around, he's like, "Oh shit, things are, things are happening." Things yeah, are happening you. here. Okay. Hey, uh, can you any kind of gestures to shut? Can you like, can you like move up? Oh, just, just, just scoop. Uh, okay, whatever. And then he, and as he exhales, <laughs> disappears, steps up the wind, and just now is in the dead center. Just kind of, all right, guys. <sighs> Who's first? And he just kind of starts kind of hopping and jumping. And all the attention suits over to Jack. That will do it for his turn. Dahlia, you're up. All right. Well, first off, I'm going to say, it's about time, Jack. Let's get these fuckers and cast Bardic Inspiration. All right. Who's getting that Bardic Inspiration? Jack, because I know that even though he woke up late... <laughs> I've seen I've seen him take out these fuckers before, so. All righty, all right. He, what 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 is uh? So Dahlia's cursing at him. That's that's his inspiration to get going. This, this time, yeah. Okay, he's normally like, oh, yeah, yeah, more, yeah. Normally it's a little more musical, but. <laughs> You're like, no, no, I got it, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's yeah. Go. Um, DM, real quick, is there a difference between bardic inspiration and combat inspiration? Uh, combat inspiration. Hold on, let me check your what you, because I only know of one bardic inspiration. Let me see. Do do do. Oh, as far as let's see, I'm trying to see where you're reading. Um, uh, I'm reading well, that in um. Dahlia, there you go. Yeah, actions, and it's in other. Other. Oh, no, no. It's just what the other person gets to do when you give them bardic inspiration. Oh, okay. Just wanted to know. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. So, let, me, let, me, let me actually read it real quick. It has a bardic inspiration die from you. you. can roll that die and add the number roll to a weapon damage roll, blah, 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 and use this reaction to roll the die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Roll to it. Uh, let's see. It can use this reaction to roll the die and add the number rolled to its AC against that attack. Oh, I never knew Bardic Inspiration can do that. After seeing the roll, but before knowing whether it, it hits or not, it misses. Yeah, no, that's cool. I didn't know you can also add to your AC. That's actually pretty dope. All righty. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, All right. so he feels inspired uh, by by your insult. And is. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's get these fuckers. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Anybody got a hair of the dog? Can, can I just get a... Anybody? Well, all right. So that was your bonus action. What would you like to do for your action? Uh, for my action, I'm going to just go for a swing again at Mr. Goliath with my vicious battle axe. 
Nice. Roll to hit. Okay. Ah, no! That was a natural one! <sighs> natural Damn one. Damn. All right. You go and you swing that battle axe and as he's and he blocks with it and you hit blade on blade and you feel the slightest chip happen on your blade and you're like fuck it looks you look at it it seems like it's a little damage if it takes another hit like that you you're probably fucked with this weapon but that's what happens with your nat one you're still good the weapon's still good but it's now been damaged fuck I just got this thing too. This is why I don't like bladed weapons. <laughs> well, that and one other reason. All righty. What? Um, so that was your attack? Yeah. Your bonus action? Um, um, what, I think my bonus action was giving the Bardic Inspiration. Yes, you did. So you have movement, um, but just so you know, if you do try to move out the way, you are engaged with him. He will take an attack of opportunity if you try okay. to move out of his distance. Can I... Would like an open hand strike count as a movement? Uh, no, that that would Damn count it. as an attack. Damn it! All right, can I just like would spinning it in his face count as a movement? I'll take it. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'm just gonna like spin his face. Roll to hit. <laughs> oh, hold up, back up. Really? Where did I? Where to go? Where to, that was very cocked. Hold up, I need to put this on, like, flat surface. That, that might work. Oh, that was a 13. 13. Yeah, you get him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good wow. one, too. You do a... And... Yeah, and I didn't brush my teeth yet, so it's got that... Uh, uh, that old wine. Psychological warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> one way to fight a fight. Nazwin, you are up. All right. Uh, ch -ch -ch. All right. Since Jackson, there, who's the closest dude to me? This, there's two yeah, guys you're here. You're kind of surrounded. So that's right. I stabbed a guy. Um. All right. The guy who I stabbed, I'm gonna go ahead and hit him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab him again with my dagger. Go for it. Go hit. Going for the face. Damn. That's a, that's an eleven for the first one. Mm, that's a mess. God damn it. Second strike. Oh, get out of here. That's cocked. Okay, go for it. Roll again. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Natural 20. Yes! Fucking finally. Just, you don't even need to roll damage. That guy's fucking dead. <laughs> I stab him in the eye. Yes! And he just kills over. Nice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. And then um, I Are you am... down? I don't even go. Yeah. You guys got one, two... Three uh, guys in active combat with you. Nice. Okay, that's not uh, bad. Half down. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hide. <laughs> I'm gonna use my bonus, bonus action <laughs> hide. Road stealth. <laughs> hey, that's a twenty eight. Twenty eight. <laughs> I'm gonna hide directly up in the same bush. <laughs> but you like you like it's like you go the other way, <laughs> and so it just they they can fucking win the bush, but they can't. You Batman then. <laughs> you Batman just right then. in front of them. Just, just. But they are going to 5, 10, 15, going straight for their prey. Bam, this guy, he's going to try to take a swing at good old Jack. Yes, 17 to hit. Which does hit. So he's going to take some damage. Didn't mean to do that. I'll just roll. Roll this guy. Ooh, seven. Guys, tries. He swipes right along. Uh, Jack. Jack kind of leans. He takes the damage. And he's like, "Oh man, come on, that's rude. That's rude, man. I just got this. I just bought this thing." <laughs> and bandit number two. Oh yeah, dead. <laughs> He twitch his his leg just kind of twitches a little bit. <laughs> this guy who's taking no damage. 
five, ten, fifteen. Goes behind Jack. And goes to try to hit. <laughs> Hold on. Let's make sure I'm reading this right. All right. Uh, let me just roll damage for this guy. Bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom real fast. Go to that bathroom. And let's see. As he's going to two hands, swing down. And as he's about to hit Jack from the back, Jack just kind of moves off to the side and tipsy sways and pushes him towards the other guy and the and the other bandit takes the five damage. Ooh. Which actually oh, no, doesn't kill the guy. But Rex fucks that dude up. It's like, oh fuck, dude! The fuck! He's like, shit, sorry. And that does it for his turn. And this guy, dead. 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 And this guy just seems, the other monk, just seems to be waiting. Moving. Oh, shit, there was another one? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't <laughs> see that one over there. And time for the Goliath, who is dead oh, set on killing Joy Dahlia. <laughs> Joy bunnies. Ooh, that's a 19 to hit. So That hits. Okay. Come on. There you go. Yep. See. Oh fuck! I'm not raging anymore. So no, you are not raging anymore. I will as soon as my turn hits, but for now. Ooh. So you take uh, six. You take uh, six slashing damage. All right. For How's this barbarian looking? Yeah, a little rough up. Looks a little rough. Oh, okay. No, it looks like he still got a lot of kick left in him. Ooh, that's a miss. So third swing. Ooh, that's a miss. So he missed. He's not, but he's not swinging well. He's not swinging well. And that's gonna do it for his turn. Maria, you are up. Okay. Um. Ah, looking hot. <laughs> oh, how's Maria doing? I mean, not Maria. How's Dahlia doing? Uh, she's not looking great. She really needs to buy some fucking armor. She's, <laughs> oh my God. she's used to just taking the hits and punching anyways. What does her HP look like? Uh, she's currently at 8 HP. Oh, balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Been, well, that's what tanks do. <laughs> yeah. they. Typically that's all have... damage that didn't happen to any of you guys. Okay. That's true. Uh, I, all tiny right. teeth thing from the streets. What, what? What's Maria doing? Can't hurt. Can't let Dolly go down. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come out from the corner. Um, do a little sneak attack, Eldritch blast on the uh, Goliath. Nice. Go ahead and roll with advantage. Okay. It's funny how the t the the barbarian also is the one who can heal too. Yeah, <laughs> that's a thirteen. The tank is plus also the healer. A six, so nineteen. Nineteen, Jess barely hits. Okay, so let's roll for damage. Roll for damage. There you are. That is a nine, a six, and a four. That is nineteen damage. Nice. Now he looks hurt. <laughs> he Jeez. takes a oh, and he drops to a knee. <sighs> oh, hoists himself up. He is now bleeding more profusely. He is he's not looking good. He's definitely starting to feel the wear of this battle. Um, and I would like to move um where I'm in the way of Dahlia and the Goliath. Oh, all right. I like slowly eyes on me. Right there, <laughs> dead center, looking up. How tall is uh Maria? Uh good question. Uh 
Five five. Five five. I don't know. What's the yeah. average okay. height of women? <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay, so as you, <laughs> as in I'm all your five her. five glory, you stand <laughs> sure. strong and look up. I wanted to taller than her. At this massive Goliath that's just staring down, but you just fucking wrecked and very um still in the dress uh <laughs> no i'm in my pjs and i just want to look at the goliath and say like you look better on your knees Ooh. That's it. Oh. <laughs> as he's holding his bloody nuts and just oh just this like these women are crazy <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah and that's the end of my turn all righty <sighs> Don't make me regret this. <laughs> Shaka is going to come out and take a shot at the Goliath, which does hit. Finally, this is what happens when I roll for other people. <laughs> it, never like, let I, the DM roll for you. Never let me roll for you. It will end badly. All right, hold on. Ooh, okay, so first let me roll damage. <laughs> Ooh, nice hit. Eight, which reduced to four. Yeah. But that little seed that he threw on um on the Goliath, he aims his arrow directly at the seed and it shoots out a bunch of thorny vines that start wrapping around the Goliath. And let's see if he makes a quick little saving throw. Did I just roll a natural one? I think. Nope. No, that was a natural 20. Never mind. Um, <laughs> let's see. Bonus action. Let me see what that does. Yep. Oh, well. Let's see. The the vines that uh oh they're strange. the vines that were originally gonna encompass him, the Goliath just rips them off and throws them out. So the ensnaring strike did not work. But he does take the damage and Shaka's gonna attempt to attack again. That's a miss. And that will do it for Shaka's turn. Shit happening upstairs. It's time for Sensei Jack. And he okay. Okay. All right. <sighs> All right. Eeny, mini, miny. I'll fuck you. And, <laughs> and don't forget you got the inspiration too. Yeah. So he got a few hits. So he's going to. I got that guy. That's a hit. Uh, six damage to the guy behind him. Which is Bandit One, who is yeah. oh yeah, that guy's fucking dope. So as he kind of steps forward and just cracks him with an elbow right across the face, and a guy immediately just drops, neck snaps, and he falls Damn. back. And, uh, yeah, so and then Jack kind of as he kind of does a step back and does a side kick to the to the warrior behind him. Fuck yeah. And he's going to roll a hit. Ooh, that's a hit. Yeah. D6. Five damage. And he's just going to like, uh, as the guy just takes like, just straight to the gut. And let's see, that guy is all oh, warrior number one. Oh, he's taking no damage so far. So, yeah, that's the first time he just got hit. And Jack, all right, and just starts throwing major haymakers in his face as he now does a flurry of blows. Man, I missed that move. Yeah, which is a hit. <laughs> I have got to play monks one of these days. Monks are amazing. Oh, monks no, do some was... ridiculous shit. Yeah. yeah, and it would be cool if I could apply my actual, like, martial arts knowledge to Ooh, a game, too. Yeah. I am all for that. I love I I'm a big fan and studier of martial arts, so I would Oh yeah. Absolutely. Twelve years in my back pocket. Nice. And that guy takes nine damage, which is more than enough. And so in his turn Another one say, bites the dust. Another, two of them bite the dust. Do, do, do. 
Uh, takes those guys down and then goes up to finish up his flurry of blows. Ah, uh, that's a six. Doesn't get that one off. And he's like, ah, ah, fuck. Uh, couldn't break my record. My record's three so far. My record's three so far. But, um, all right, fuck it. Uh, and that does it for, for Jack's turn. Dahlia, you are, oh, no, wait. Rewind, rewind, because he did miss. Um, your Bardic Inspiration. Let me yeah. Know. It's a D8, if I recall, right? Is it a D8 or a D6? Uh, just a clock tick. That, that is a D6. D6. So let's see if he can hit. No, nah, not enough. <laughs> not enough. So unfortunately, he still misses. But Dahlia, you are up. All right. So first off, for my bonus action, I'm going to rage. Get, like, first off, I'm going to say, you're right, doll. Wait, did I get He does skip? look better on his knees. And I'm going <laughs> to rage again. <laughs> Go for it. Ah! And, then, ah! and then I'm going to take my vicious battle axe and swing at his kneecaps. <laughs> nice. Roll to hit. Oh, shit. That went flying. Where did it land? Where did it land? <laughs> <laughs> That's cocked. It landed on my back. Hold on. It went... <laughs> oh, okay. That, was a... that landed on the floor. 13. 13 to hit. Plus, uh, plus six, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 to hit. That just barely hits. Ha! Okay. And I roll damage. 1d8 plus... 3 plus... 3, 6 plus... 8. 8. All righty. Eight damage. Oh, he is looking very. He is. Oh, oh he's starting to bleed more. And I'm gonna s- swing around because I get a double hit because I'm raging, and go for and go again. This time for his neck. Nice roll to hit. Seven plus. <laughs> Thirteen. Um, also, um, I I haven't here like an inspiration that I never used. Okay. I don't remember what it was for, so I can roll again. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, better. That's a seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. That hits. Woo! And I'm gonna roll jabash. Four plus seven. Nine. Nine. Ooh, he is. Oh, he's not looking good. He is on his knee. More blood coming out. He's like having trouble even holding up his own weapon. It's not looking good for this guy. <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fall. All righty. Uh, anything else you would like to do? Um... I think I'll just kind of step, like, kind of, like, in a protective way, like, in front of Maria, and okay. that'll be it. I'll guard you. No, I'll guard you. <laughs> you still just, have eight health. <laughs> As you just have very, uh, health. <laughs> you very, like eight sa- health. <laughs> very sapphic insanity. I love it. Noswin, you are up. All right. Um, the big guy's the only one left, yeah? Uh, from guy. what you see, yeah. Ah. What I see, he says. All right. Um, I'm going to to get up in his shit. I want to <laughs> hey, get up in his Hey, Shaka. What's up, Shaka? The band's back together. You're muted. <laughs> Can't hear you. Check the settings in the. Uh... Yeah, like it says, you're muted. Muted in here. Yeah, we can't hear you. But we can see you in your obvious. Yeah, it's all good. Take your time. But Noswin, what are we doing? You got yeah, yeah. you got the Goliath. Uh yeah, I wanna stab him in the back of the neck. Oh, this is this technically a stealth attack? 
Oh, if you would like, yeah, because uh, you did you did uh, hide last action. So yeah, you this is stealth attack, and he is being flanked. So advantage, man. This is your moment. This is your Poor moment. Dude. You can hit this guy. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, I'm not even gonna. All right, I got it. One. Yeah. This is yeah, uh, twenty. The back. Yeah, twenty two to hit. Twenty two hits. Yep. Uh, and I'm gonna use my dagger. What's up, Rich? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Killing the guy, you know. I caught a guy's nuts. <laughs> Here I go killing again. Here I go killing again. <laughs> they did get a guy's nuts. It was pretty great. That's pretty right. Yeah, she she was on fire. That is eight for damage on that first dagger strike. How do you want to do this? <laughs> Woo! I get I get in his ear. Something with their nuts. I get in his ear and I go, Mike, you look like you're in a lot of pain. Let me end that for you. And I slit oh. his throat. Uh, uh, big thud on the floor. Wipe my dagger off of my. <laughs> like your ghost face from Scream. <laughs> wiping the yep, knife. Yep. Wipe, wipe the knife on my <laughs> fucking own robes. Yep. Old school shit. That's I was good. like, you still gotta walk around with that blood, bro. <laughs> <laughs> eh, soap with cold water. Is what it is. All right, I'm in um, hiding anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, anything so you want to do in these last moments? Um, I wanna, action movement. Can I look around and see if I see anybody else? <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah. You kind of just do a general. Your your general passive procession is high enough to where you do notice that there is someone waiting in the actual dojo. Mm, shit. I also know that with like my danger sense. Uh, Wait. or as danger sense goes, let me reread the action. Dude just comment. poofed in there while we were fighting. Oh, uh, actually, she just walked in there because you guys were fighting and just didn't engage in the fight. Huh. Uh, let's see. Let me read. Y'all never walked into a loud room before. <laughs> I, I guess that makes sense. Oh no, it just me. I have advantage on deck saving throws. Yeah. Hmm. So, but you still have a bonus action and movement. Damn it. I, it. Is she looking like she's about to fight us? Or she's like. You look over and she is just kind of like in this kind of meditated, calm, like meditative state, like sitting like cross, crisscross applesauce on the dojo mat. Yeah, I don't know who she is. Waiting. You do not know who she is, but you do notice that she is uh, a dragonborn, golden dragonborn in uh, tight uh, gi robes, um, blue uh, with big old black buttons draped down as she and with her golden tail just kind of wrapped around her as she waits i'm gonna hide again <laughs> <laughs> all right look at this hide. all right go ahead and roll to hide <laughs> oh boy i'm doing great right now it's another 28 look at that yeah yeah you where where are we hiding um I guess where's the bar at? Because I want to hide inside. Where the she's dojo. at? Oh, you see the bar right there. Lavar the stools. Damn. I I want to be adjacent. I want to hide adjacent. Sorry, my uh. In order for me to stream it, I have to have the map really small. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So, like, okay. if you see this character right over there. here, yeah, that's where it is. Mm. That's where the bar is. Damn. All right, then I'm gonna hide in in this bush, in the bush that's to the right now. <laughs> Not the same bush that went in the right. Yeah. You yeah. uh cut across Jack and <laughs> dive into the bush. <laughs> well hidden. <laughs> like the night. Yep. <laughs> My oil the night. <laughs> All righty. And Dead, 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 dead. <laughs> Your cat man. <laughs> and what does he say? You're a guest of darkness. I was born <laughs> in it. <laughs> molded by it. More like me olded by it? Me <laughs> you merely adopted the catnip. 
I was born into it, molded by it. And all but I clawed lives. you. Full table, everybody. Full table. The band's back! Yay! Remember that time Bane declawed Catman? Legendary. Don't forget, Catman has nine lives. <laughs> you that would the, be amazing uh, if I had nine lives. You see the uh, monk get up, walk out, looks around, sees all of her, her men are dead, looks over. Jack, you still owe us money. And she just kind of just stands there at attention, seemingly not attacking. And that brings it to Maria. Uh, you're muted. Hello. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I would like to ask the battle monk, how much exactly does he owe you? 300 gold. 300? <sighs> Jack, 300 gold. Hey, this is double or nothing. It was double or nothing. It was. Looks like you hit nothing. Maybe don't bet when you're, you know, not sober. I mean, mm-hmm. when would I bet? I, I look at the monk. Exactly. I'm, assume, I'm assuming that even if you are defeated, which you probably will be, you'll be back with more goons and more friends to cause a, a disturbance. Yes. Am I wrong? You are not. And if you somehow manage to kill me, there'll just be more tomorrow. Does it exactly have to be 300 gold? Oh. Or can an item of equal value help out our friend Jack? The monk just kind of <clears throat> cocks her head. What item? <sighs> I'll be back. Um, and I want to go get the dress. <laughs> Be dress. Yes. Oh. Nice. You bring out this dress, and as you twist it, the starry light of the dress kind of Holy flakes shit. off. And the I would definitely recognize that was from home, right? You would immediately recognize uh Andwell's original. Holy uh shit. you know, like you know that this is like the highest echelon of, of wear. And she looks over at it. Oh, oh! I know those dresses. That was about 50 gold, if I recall. But can sell for more. We'll give you it a, we'll say it's a deposit. But Jack, and she looks over. We are going to need something from you. You seem like you have capable fighters. Tell you what. We'll be square. If you allow us to sign them for the fights so we can get a percentage off of their wins. Slate, slate clean. How I, much of a percentage? And what about more slate? Would you clean it? I, I yelled from the bushes. <laughs> I, <laughs> everyone just looks <laughs> This muffled sound of where... <laughs> uh, whatever the bush said. Here's the thing. Here's no, the I've thing. read a, I read a couple of books where a bush talked. Always went well. <laughs> you always listen to the bush. May I speak to the monk? Of course. And she just kind of gestures. Here's the thing. Jack has no responsibility for what we do with our fighting abilities. That can only be our call. So, don't make a deal with him. Make a deal with us. She looks at you. (laughs) Oh, I'm sure. That can work. So, what would you like? We can put you into the fires. I hear the buy-in is... Not a little hefty, but you could potentially win some money. 
if you win the fights. They are, some of them are unarmed, some with weapons. Lynn looks over at you, Dahlia. You seem capable, but you, my <laughs> dear. And she looks over at you, Maria. You seem like you would be disqualified if you fought. However, if you're into looking to spend a little bit extra money, you want to make some more, we could have a job for you. Mm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. If they oh, decide to look again. over at her dead Goliath. <laughs> oh, jeez. <sighs> look, take the dress, leave Jack alone, or the same predicament that befell your Goliath friend will befall you. And that's me being generous. Can I roll something to make? Yes, that absolutely. Roll that intim. You can make that an intimidation or a persuasion check. Okay, let's see. Intimidation is plus three, but persuasions plus nine, baby. Please, please, plus nine. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Persuade her ass. Yeah, that is a thirteen Be your plus nine. Ass, Are so you nine, kidding me? That's a twenty-two. Twenty-two. She looks still. And this was persuasion, right? You went for persuasion? Yes. Hmm. Okay. So she looks and kind of uh, big s- smile kind of comes on her face. Well, think about my offer. And she looks over at you, Dahlia, and looks over at Shaka. Guys might be able to make some money in the in the in the weapons attack. In the weapons. Those tend to go to the death, so be careful. We, if you want to make some extra money, happy hey, to pay your entry fee. Be careful and if you're you friends with any here. of those people. That's all I'll say. And she looks over at you. I'll think and, about and it. Like, well, don't wait too long. Jack, we'll be talking to you later. But we'll say that this dress gives you an extension on your debt. And she kind of rolls it up, puts it in her bag. And she looks over at you, Maria. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're so interesting. Good luck, though. You're going to need it. And she steps up the wind and is gone. And that is the end of combat. Um, That girl moves fast. I come out of nowhere. I could have told you. Whoa. (laughs) I was just going to, like, plonk on the ground. It's like... (sighs) Fucking A. And also, you guys would not believe where I've been mentally. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying you're bushed? I, you... One of the Bushmen now. <laughs> Here we go. Jack. Leave him alone. He's had a long day. Breakfast, please, Jack. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got, um,. I got the perfect thing. It's a, it's like a can of tomato sauce with some of uh, this beer. Yeah, uh, it's great. It's great stuff. Uh, for, uh, who we'll, cans we'll tomato sauce now here? We'll okay, start the morning for you. And no, um, no, order us something, Jack. Order us. We deserve it. Yeah, you this dude's know, having a V8 splash with beer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly hey, what he's having. You're, you're having sort of like, a little celery sort of like on your the inside. Or... It's a Caucasian Michelada. <laughs> hey, you got any sort of? Hey, Jack, got any sort of like healer's kit, one of them fancy potions or something? Oh, hey, 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 I got, I got something <sighs> for you. And um, you hear a, uh, I and coming out from the door, you see stepping down, um, uh, Shaka. It's your, you know, the the older guy, Dad, who is who you're helping smuggle, who was also upstairs, um coming downstairs and he's like oh i can i can i can help you out i can help you out if you just you come upstairs and I'll, I'll bandage you up um yeah. i just don't and then stepping down following his dad is a young uh six-year-old boy and he's like hey, he's like a young six a young six yeah <laughs> <laughs> like a fresh six-year-old he little boy comes downstairs like that hey hey stay up there stay up there buddy stay up there and the child just starts looking around. 
And I'm gonna, sees... I'm gonna get, I'm gonna step in front of the Goliath so the kid doesn't see at least that. And and like, you... it, it's nap time. And, and he's like, what's? And as he kind of, kind of is hard to miss multiple dead bodies and the explosions and everything that's happened. And he just starts freaking out. He's like, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, I need you to calm down. He's like, he's going to take us away again. He's going to take me away again. I don't want to be taken away. And then what. all of a sudden, I'm... I need I need Shaka, Dahlia, Nas, I need everyone to make a, a dexterity saving throw. You got it. Fuck. You got it. You got it. What did I do? Oh, this little boy got powers. He's a uh -huh. young mute. And... Hey. Okay, uh, 11 in this motherfucker. A dex saving throw? Yeah. Okay. She's so a 10, but she's got mind powers. She's 11. 11. <laughs> 11. 11. You're talking about how much I really love that show, though. Uh, <laughs> it's good, bro. It's so good. Like, oh, I like got an 11 from Dahlia. Ever done. No, yeah, one. agreed. Uh, that's a 21. 21. Maria? 18. 18. Chaka? He said deck save 18. Yeah. 18. He oh, and it's just like I can't. And then all of a sudden, this force, this almost blast of force energy just <laughs> erupts out of the kid's hands. And everyone, um, you you all the all of you who saved don't take any damage, but you are pushed back 10 feet as this force wave <laughs> just kind of blows everyone back. Um the hell was that, Mike? I uh, Father takes a little bit of damage. He, <sighs> Daddy, I didn't mean to hurt. I didn't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. What if I hellish rebuke this child? Hang on, <laughs> hang on. Before you, before you, you like do it? that, before no. you do that, I'm just gonna like go up to the kid calmly and be like, "Hey, hey, it's okay." And I'll just kind of like under my breath start singing a what would sound like in our world like. A lullaby in Spanish, but like mm -hmm. in this world would be like in um I think we said that um Spanish Inferno. would be like infernal yeah. and yeah. cast oh wait, wait, is it in oh I didn't add it. That's last night, that's why. Um hold up. Let me just uh finish. there we go. And cast calm emotions All on right. the kid. As you as you saying a uh, lovely Spanish lullaby, he <sighs> calms down. And a little bit of Arcana energy kind of goes away. Kid starts to cry and kind of comes in close to uh, his dad. And he's like, it's okay, Gabriel. It's okay, Gabriel. Hello? You guys frozen? All right. Uh, I think you, I I know, think you I, froze. Everyone just froze. Everyone just froze on me. I lost everyone, but then... Uh, okay, I think we're back. I think we're uh, back. I don't have Shaka anymore. Shaka! There we go. There's Shaka. Right, so, I'm here. Yeah. Is there everybody here? Over here? So I don't know, where'd you guys, where, where did I lose you guys? <coughs> oh, I heard everything still. I just oh, okay. uh, I just yeah, turned off cam when I was going like, to oh, no, 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 <laughs> it's, it's okay, Gabriel. You're fine. You're fine, buddy. You're fine, buddy. And he's like, okay, I can... um. I can help you with your wounds. Uh, just uh, come Sick. back upstairs, yeah. and uh, and we'll uh, we'll we'll figure this out. All and right. we'll take a we'll take a short little break from there. Take a quick little five minute break. Alrighty, that was great. Okay. Woo! I just All got right. ten a uh, thousand fucking biddies. <laughs> oh yeah! yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, I'm glad we helped out. That shit's crazy. Thank you, guys. I have no idea what that translates to. <laughs> uh, ten dollars. Uh, it actually. sounds good. Nope, if I'm not mistaken. Nice, nice. Yeah. Get your shmoney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. I'll be right back. All right. Ditto.
Yeah. <laughs> Ah, what's up, big boss? What up? Uh, terrible jokes being made here. Dope. <laughs> Dope. <Amazing. laughs> I'm sorry, waifu. I didn't mean it. I'm never uh, making the joke again. I just had to tell was, Pepper uh, Jack about the joke. <laughs> I was listening to uh, I was listening to Kenobi stream. Oh yeah. <laughs> Talking about he made a joke about a rapier. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you rapier that guy. And we're like, oh. <laughs> second we said it, we're like. I was just saying, you could just change the name of the sword. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like I think needle. we're kind of like done with it. I know. I hate the I hate the name of that sword. I honestly. pull out my assaulter. <laughs> That's terrible. That's actually oh, a God. funny like D&D fucking <laughs> Joke, like, like yeah, like, you that. You're like, what? Why'd you call it a? So oh, I get it. Right. Oh, yeah. Wait. It's just Eric, you'll like this. At my uh, at the last mic I hosted, uh, I got this new joke where I go, uh, so me and my girlfriend, iPhone. we just had our uh, first ultrasound, and I just make everyone start clapping, and I go, yeah, we uh, got in a fighter jet, broke the sound barrier. <laughs> it's an ultrasound. Oh God. <laughs> I pissed this lady off. She almost walked out. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That's I can see her getting pissed off. <sighs> oh my god! What? Like, like I, I, I can't. I can't with these people anymore. I can't. I force them to clap, and then I do that. Yeah, that's mean. <laughs> so mean. Wow. Oh, ultrasound. Hey, I mean, you weren't lying. Yeah, we they got just, an F-18 and broke the sound barrier. They just jumped to conclusions. <laughs> that should be the further choke. Yeah, yeah. Maybe <laughs> next time you won't jump to conclusions. 
<laughs> How dare you? you know? <laughs> My partner is more than a child bearer. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not good. That's not a good one. Not in this climate. I mean, she is more than that. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know, but just, you know, the whole Roe v. Wade thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah the, ba- the Batman v. Superman thing. <laughs> so old, old guys versus the youth. Yeah, I feel bad for the area, whoever. If you live in a rough area, sorry. Yeah. And, it's just uh, getting rougher. Just getting rougher. Oh, it's ridiculous. Uh, I'll punch a politician for you, though. Appreciate you. <laughs> Got my fist. Is um so uh what you missed, Shaka. Yes. Uh basically, um, after you you know went and got the father and son, set them up in the dojo, um that early that morning, that next morning, uh the guys who try to get Jack's money try to they came back but with weapons and with a with the monk. And oh. And so that was it. It was that's what you missed. You missed the combat. Oh, so, I really haven't missed much, huh? No, just the combat. Just the combat. Um, and now realizing that the little five year old is magically inclined. Cool. He's a mutant. Exactly. exactly. The child is force sensitive. Yes. Every couple the child, the the force the strong evolution strong. skips a step. <laughs> He's one of us. Yeah. Oh, dude, I finally watched um the universe of Matt. What did they call it? Universe of Madness? <laughs> Multiverse of Madness. Madness? Multiverse yeah. Madness. I finally watched it. And uh I haven't got around to that, but I okay, I did watch finally Miss Marvel. Oh like, fuck yes. It's great, right? It's great. And if you have like yeah, immigrant you parents, have no idea how much like, you have no you, idea you how much that show means. <laughs> you know I know how much it means to me though as someone who is most of is from Jersey City and who loves like that kind of stuff oh, yeah. growing up too like yeah yeah I think cool about story. you every time I watch the show because I'm like this is just like her that's cool Jersey City and she's fun there's it's, that it's fun. I've only seen the first two episodes there's that know. A moment where the mom talks about like how she let her family love her. Like and that, like and what like immigrating means to her, and I just mm-hmm. started bawling my eyes out. Wow. And then the guy texted me outside to say he was done installing my new windshield, and I had to go outside just <laughs> covered oh, no. in tears. <laughs> oh no! That's beautiful, though. Yeah. Oh, I, I couldn't be like, hey, sorry, man. I was just watching Ms. Marvel. You should have. That uh. Yeah. I'm sure you would have understood. Be like, he he didn't yeah. ask for sure. <laughs> That's valid, I guess. I still would have Probably seen gave the information. <laughs> <laughs> the last episode of Stranger Things made me cry like a fucking baby. If I walked outside, mm-hmm. I'd be like, I'm so sorry. I saw the last episode of Stranger Things. And he'd be like, bro, <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> I know. That's yeah. all I'm telling you is just that I saw that's, it. <laughs> yeah, please. That's all. <laughs> like, damn. Damn. I'm an easy cry, though. Yeah. <laughs> I think when it comes to like a show where I've followed the characters for so long, I'm totally an easy cry. I think <laughs> Yeah. For me, especially with like books too. Yeah. So as so as we pick up where we left off, um Dahlia, you are healed. Oh wow, that was a natural twenty. So um you're gonna be healed up to uh well, it's a natural twenty, so you get uh, we'll we'll do thirty for that. You, yes, so I'm at thirty eight to... points now. Thank goodness. Nice. As he kind of takes his healer's kit, wraps the bandages around tight, we uh, put some salves on the on the wounds. You got cut up pretty badly, um, so you you get a few stitches out of it. I've had I've had, I've had worse. And he kind of looks at you like, how is this? How have you had worse than this? You seem like you're a Maybe like one more good hit away from death. You've had worse than this. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> As he kind of just keeps stitching up like a cut <laughs> along your arms, and um, and he's and so as you guys have a bunch of dead bodies around, um, 
What would you like to do? Well, I probably would have gone back to my room and switched out my weapons for mm-hmm. my drums. And I would probably try and, like, you know, keep the kid occupied and a little kind of, like, soothe. Just, like, show, like, maybe, like, show him how to, like, tap a little and just, you know, make sure he stays calm and doesn't see any of the cleanup downstairs. Mm. Uh, go yeah. ahead and okay, you do a pretty good job. It seems like he already had his freak out, um, and he uh, kind of tries to mimic uh, your rhythmic moves, and he seems That's to. It. That's called the clave, yeah. And it seems like you have distracted him a little bit as he's enjoying uh, playing a little bit of music. Um, the rest of you, what would you else would you like? What would you guys like to do as you are um, like surrounded by a few dead bodies? Over the blood. Hmm? I'd like to put newspapers over the blood. Just oh, okay. As you lay down uh, a variety of uh, parcels, soaking up the blood a little bit, and Jack is um, seems like he's kind of dragging the bodies to the front of the gate, and... Um, He's like, okay, I gotta figure some shit out for this. Uh, I'll probably just, oh, most of these guys are hired guns anyway, so I'm, I'm sure the monastery will, will know, you know, it's in my house. So I'm gonna have to get the guard, guys. And he looks over at you, Noswin. So uh, we need to figure something for you, man. Mm. I, I mean, I, I could I, hide. You could hide. I mean, we need to, but we need to figure out a little more long term. Unless you hide every single day you're here and never go back out outside of these walls. Nazim, what exactly did you do? <laughs> hey, you weren't there for that. So I threatened a man in front of his child. Mm-hmm. It's no big what? deal. We stole. Stole that carriage. carriage over there. <laughs> And you we, see, off to the side, is a carriage and a horse, kind of like just chilling on the far end of the dojo along the sand. Horse is drinking out of the little creek stream going through. Uh, yeah, they stole that. They stole that, so we got to kind of put that in the back. We'll put that in the back right there. I mean, like, it's not stealing if I bring it back later. It's just currently gone. I mean. Are you going to bring it back later? Oh, mate, we, we barely even took it out of the town. Yeah. It's still here. So it's not technically stolen. It's it's still here. Okay. So all It's not stolen if you give it to me term. after we threaten you. Let me just say that. If you give it to me, the conditions of the transaction are just are just that. All right? It's a it's, forced it's, gift, It was still mate. a transaction. It's not stolen if there was a transaction of words and a promise or threat. Okay, so if we give the card back, you can have a clear name, correct? No. We need the card. (laughs) Why do we need the card? So we can get the man and the child out of the city. What's so special about them? Oh, mate, you saw the child. He just just did a thing. It was like a... You know, I've never seen that before. Why are we? You know what? It's a, okay. it's a thing with me. You light a green candle, I help out, and I uh, and so this is when I'm, I'm. I got a job from the the store down the street to deliver some stuff to uh, Nieto Shore, and this is how we're gonna get it there. And I just made them our hired. I'd made them the employees. It's, Okay. And to so need it, we needed a car, in... and I was going to do it stealthily, and then he was like, Oh, listen here, mate, I'm gonna <laughs> slit your throat in front of a child. <laughs> and then, uh, and that's, that's not what I sound right. like. <laughs> it kind of is. I mean, 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 I'll come down by this point. I'm just leaning against the door. I'm like, it does sound like you, man. I'm going to take this from you, you bro. None of you. Okay. That's all he's been doing. It's what he does. He drinks. I am. Okay, so the goal is to get I'm this family drunk. out of the city. Right? Yeah, I've, I, 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 I've already perfectly forged all the documents. It's all taken care of. 
And from what Shaka told me, they were originally from Candlewood. Where the reason yep. their town burned down in the first place. It's the least we could do. We didn't burn down the uh, town. Was it their <laughs> fault? It's a, it's... I just look at Maria as like... <sighs> we didn't burn the town down. But, but we also the didn't steal the down. carriage. Okay. Right. right. We're not is there, uh, Jack, is there another city that we can escort these lovely man and child to? Oh, yeah. Um, well, from what I hear, Nieto Shore is a big hodgepodge and it's right there along the shoreline, so you can get lost there. And from what I hear, yeah. Uh, Port and, towns are the best place to get to disappear, and I should know I'm from one. And well, just then, the older the the dad comes down. Yeah, I am. I have a contact in the Otto Shore, and um, we already. I got a boat. They're gonna get us to Lomere. There's a guy who's you know he's helping us out, and um, we're gonna. Get over to Lomere. I just have to get there. Naoto Shore has a port town. Get my kit there. We can get to Lomere. And I've got all their paperwork covered for the trails for if, like, uh, any of these seekers stop them. I mean, I can't stop them from sensing that this little kid can do his thing. But. Okay. And I got to get to Neat and I got to and I got to get get Neat Shore at some point anyways. And so I was like, all right, if you guys want to do the tournament, we'll hold it out a couple of days. I was ready to go to be honest, and he was like, "Oh no, I've got the more thing here." And I've got some weapons wing to be made too, so. Yeah, oh, it's actually really the weapons. He was actually cool being, "Oh, we can get out of here." So. Mm, considering a lot of us have broken the Mike. law in this city, I move that we go to the shore. And you know, if I, at... if I had to kill him, there'd be no one to tell on us. There'd still so... be the child. He was there. He and be. didn't you try and fail to assassinate him? That's a different story, mate. He's, he's strong, yeah. all right? All right. All in favor of going to the shore, raise your hand. But this tournament still needs to happen, right? We're still waiting oh, yeah. for your brass knuckles. Yeah, uh, plus, we can make money off the tournament, and I should could use the money. Well, we make money on plus, delivery of the items too. When is the True. tournament? Uh, Jack is like, oh, that's tomorrow. <sighs> and he see him like getting the drinks all set up, and he's look. Surprisingly <laughs> enough, I haven't broken any laws yet, and. You, Maria, seem good at being able to kind of disguise yourself. Between the two of us, we could probably just get shit done here. Y'all two can keep a low cover. That's when in Shaka. Maybe uh, you can even get a disguise and we could just wait it out for a couple of days. I'll vote for a disguise. Well, I'm fighting. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Hear me out. Hear me out. I do have a contact who might be able to get you a, a little magical, you know, item to, you know, disguise yourself. I mean, you know, something like that is kind of hot, but... Um, Can they be trusted? Oh, no, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Actually, the guy who hired uh, th these people, you know, that's, that's my contact. Oh. Sounds like you're on good terms with him. I would say. Maria, maybe you got something that you can do to help uh, you with that sort of thing. Yeah, I can disguise self at will. And but can I you can... do that to someone else? It says disguise self. Yeah. Hmm. Well, at least that covers me and you then. I've... Uh... What if we just start a large fire on the other side of the city and then they're just busy with this fire? Yeah, I'm, mate, I don't think we need I'm to put more heat on ourselves. Just like, why, why would the heat be on us? It's an empty building. Okay. Because y'all are the, the big suspects of shit going down around here right now. If yeah. half of us are wanted, 
why are we still competing in the tournament when we don't have a way to properly disguise ourselves? And why, if because we the fought other in a tournament, is. it stops us from being wanted. So it's like a paradox of some sort. So competing in the tournament will make us suddenly make those wanted posters just go away. Well, that's what I she's mean, saying. at the very least, it'll make us some more money. I do like money. I well, like I can't even compete anyway. So if you guys want to compete in the tournament, I won't stop you. I may, may bet against you, but, you know, we <laughs> like money. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Well, um, in the us. meantime, hey, I'm, I'm just here. I'm just here for whatever, guys. <laughs> kind of an easy going guy. Well, I gotta go and get um, get the guards uh, to kind of scoop up the the dead bodies and explain to them why it's not my fault. I'll be right back. Uh, hide the horse and, and carriage out back. Do any of these guys have like a mask? Any of these dead dudes? Um, if you uh, go ahead and roll investigation. Hey, do they yeah. have money on them? Oh, yeah. Um, I like anything, how you guys just now thought just, just just thought about money. it right now. Yeah. Yeah, can we just... investigate? Can we go investigate? ahead. Give me some investigation <laughs> checks for anybody who wants to loot the bodies. I rolled a 19. Oh, okay. Um, 17 plus, uh, let's see, investigation you said? Yeah. 15. Um, so that's uh, 18. Okay. So, um, amongst a lot, um, let's see. You see, um, when it comes to weaponry, you come across three long swords, three long bows, um, each long bow having about uh, 12 arrows each to it. Um, let's see. A shield, three shields. Three chain shirts. Oh. Um, let's see. Doesn't a great chain act. shirts. I mean, we can't take all their shit and then like have uh, have Sensei Jack go over, uh, it, over mm. there and be like, "Hey, um, I was drunk and these guys fought me. They were naked and had no weapons." I mean, if just one we might chain leave shirt their is pants gone. on them. <laughs> um, hold on. I'm sure it won't be missed. There's also two leather armors. Um. Two uh, scimitars, two light crossbows, and um, when it comes to gold, who was looking for gold? Oh, that was me. All right, oh, it's, or I'm assuming everyone was generally yeah. <laughs> checking, checking the gold. checking the pockets. Let me see uh, it first. So I'm gonna roll. Let's see. I think it goes One, without saying, man, that when you're looting, three. you're looking for money. <laughs> One, two. Tell that to Antifa. Four. Oh, I am part Antifa. <laughs> Five. We're going to roll that to one D4. Let's see. Amongst the pack, you guys uh, scrounge 33 goat. And all you all level up. Oh, yeah. Yay! Fuck yeah. That's that's what I like to hear. Yeah. All right. So thirty three code. Uh, whoever you guys decide how you split that, you know. We'll divvy that up. I get more expertise. Okay, so I'm gonna level up in barbarian, and we talked about this. Uh, so ahead. I'm gonna go with path of. Let's see. What did I say before? Ah, yes. Path of the Street Brawler. Path of the Street Brawler. Please enjoy those feats and whatnot. Woohoo. All right. That's a homebrew, so. Okay. I'll find those. It should be in D&D Beyond. I sent you the link. Yeah, it should be. All right. Level yeah. three, that bitch. Damn. And, yeah. So, as, um,. I guess as one of you hides the carriage uh, and horse in the back, if there's uh, nothing see. else that uh, you guys want to do, or if you guys is anyone going to go with Jack to get the to get the guards? Um, I'm going to take one of the 
Let's see. What would be le- better, leather armor or chain? I'm taking the leather for sure. It does seem like uh, might need to get a little tailor to fit accordingly, as you know, the chain shirt is was worn by a Goliath. And leather armor was kind of if, if it's the leather armor you guys were looking at, then that's average size, so easy hmm. enough. Simple, simple tailoring. You can do that yourself. Hmm. And uh, but oh no, the chain shirt and shield that that would uh, that was also standard uh, kind of human size, so easy enough to kind of tighten around. It doesn't look like it fits you, but it does. It, it is functional on you. All right. Um... I could always maybe like let's see, armor class thirteen. What's better? I'm trying to think what's better for my AC. The okay. chain, probably the chain shirt and shield. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm going gonna go with the chain and okay. yeah, I'll take shield too. Okay. He's not, he's not Are you proficient with shields? Yeah, I think I've got shield in there. All right. Features, Go ahead. Traits, proficiencies. Yep, shields and medium armor. So, all righty. So, anyone going with Jack to uh, get the guards? Yeah, I'm 100 percent not doing that. <laughs> I'm not going with him to get the guards, but I am gonna run some errands. Um, all right. Maria, I'm gonna go run some errands. Want to come with? Want to come with? Yeah, I'll do that. But I don't trust Jack. But I'll do it. All right, that's a uh, chain shirt or chain mail. Chain shirt. Okay. Add I'm that. Be right back. Leather armor? Is it just regular? Leather I'll just, armor. Like, regular put that leather under armor. Under my uh, oh, under my punk shirt. So you like you rip the punk shirt a little bit, so it has a little tears as the chain as your punk shirt is like on top of the. Yeah. Of the, yeah. A little, little tight on the chest, but. It, it, very punk rock. You know, very punk rock. The aesthetic is starting to come together. All right. And then just like a regular shield, right? Yeah, regular old shield. All right. Okay, and we'll divvy up the gold later. Um, Sorry, real quick, DM. Um, I need to buy the class features, um, primal paths, uh, path of the street brawler. Okay, hold on. Let me... Um, That should be... Uh, I think I know... So it's not letting you pick it? I don't see it in the options. I see okay. wild What's magic, the- ancestral guardian, battle rage. I think I know what to do. Yeah, because it's a homebrew, so... Oh, uh, that makes it hard to uh, find that. Yeah, but I sent you. I sent you the link. On. So yeah, you did. I'm gonna. Um, that's probably gonna be the the best route. Because if I uh, oh boy. if I go through that link, should be enough to. I should be able to click it, so you can add it to your um, character. Much I just added the extra level in rogue. That's it. Some four Wait. rogue, four, two warlock. Yeah, I, um, right, so. I, I leveled up again in Ranger. Um, I took a Primal Awareness feat to uh, uh, swap out with Primeval Awareness. So now I can do Speak with Animals and Beast Sense. Nice. Nice. Oh. All right. Uh, kind of refresh your page and try it again. Okay. Um. Um, and just double check when you created your character. When you created your character, if you click Homebrew um, as a selection. Yeah, I- yeah. Option. So, um, I just added to the collection, so it should allow you to uh, add that. If it doesn't, we'll just kind of keep that off to the side. Yeah, and we'll I've got homebrew it. content uh, clicked, so that's on red. Oh, shit. Da, da, da. I roll got more free. HP now. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, roll for it. Um, you should you, if you want the because I know he gives a generic amount of HP. You could also roll for it if you want to attempt to get more. Uh, don't see it. Okay, uh, we'll figure that. Yeah. But yes, you get the feats for uh, Street Brawler. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, I'm a fan do of Do I go into brawler. optional feature manage? Or... Oh, hold up, hold up. Do I see it here? Storm I just made my slide of hand Zella, better. Beast, Battle Ranger. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out later. I just, yeah, uh... I, I, don't, I, like, I added it, but I don't know why it's not popping up. It might just... Take a fr- take a sec, but yeah. uh, okay. I'll come back to that later. Yeah, I, I I can warg with an animal now. Nice. So <clears throat> Jack starts to kind of move out. Um, all right. Uh, stay hidden, Oswin, and uh, 
I'm Easy. guessing you're wanted too. Hi. Um, I, I didn't know that as he gestures over to Maria. Um, what'd you do? I had a bad date. <laughs> <laughs> if that's all the information you want to divulge, I will not go further. <laughs> No uh, way about it. I'm wanted yeah. by everyone, darling. Same, oh, well. I guess. It must be nice, mate. <laughs> How is it that I've managed to stay out of trouble? So, you know, Mama was right. <laughs> As you guys j- go out, Sensei goes down to the heart of, uh, to the seemingly to the nearest uh, station. Um, Dahlia, where do you go? Uh, well, first, I'm gonna. I heard that there was like a po- the guy, uh, there was like a post office, so I'm gonna go there. Mm-hmm. And because I want to send a letter and some, some, some money home. All righty, as you uh, kind of go ahead and give me a general investigation check to find the post office. Okay. Uh, that's an 11. Eleven takes you a bit. Uh, Maria, you're coming with Dahlia. Yes. Alrighty, I'm just coming out. All right, so that's my first stop. All right. Um, I'll disguise self. As. Um, Dahlia, how are you dressed? Just in my regular clothes. I really don't have much on me. I don't. I don't go fancy. I can't afford that. Uh, okay. Um, but I but I did reapply the charcoal to my horns so that they would blend in my hair again. Okay. Um, I'm going to dress rocker esque like I'm a member of Dahlia's band. Okay. So oh. I don't like draw attention. Um, I don't know. So, All right. <laughs> however, oh, I mean, I want maybe like a cool jean jacket with the sleeves cut off. Some leather pants. Kind of very Stevie Nicks esque. Exactly. But right. I just don't look like me for gotcha. now. <laughs> as you add to the aesthetic of uh of the drummer as you guys uh head out. Uh it takes you a little bit of time. You find yourself back in the upper echelon of, of Serene in the upper end district. And um as you guys start man, you see the post office. Right there. Hold on. Yes, Noel. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye, buddy. I just. Oh, um, I got. I got. Okay. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> Same. Come here, buddy. Because you're interrupting anyway, so you okay, might as well okay. say hi. No, no, no. Come here. Because you, you, you. No, come here. No. <laughs> you got to roll to hide. Come here. <laughs> you got to roll. To hide. <laughs> Go ahead, say hi. 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 Hey. Hello. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, I'll play with you in 30 minutes, buddy. I got all the, uh, the wizards. Gotcha. <laughs> all of the wizards? Dude. Uh, Hyrule the Warriors wizards. is the game he is referring to. Oh, nice. He is precious. He is he is adorable and needy. But <laughs> it's... Children. He's awesome. <sighs> he is awesome. So, as you guys get to the post office, but right outside the post office, a little bit of a gathering going around. As you're in the kind of uh, kind of the the central hub of the upper echelon district. Uh, Maria, this place is looking a lot more familiar with the um the creek that kind of mirrors the road and little lovely little archways and bakery shops and dress shops and um big old post office. But in the center, on a little uh wooden panel, is this uh young ch- a young boy uh, about thirteen or so, twelve, thirteen, um. In uh, with holding a variety of newspapers, it's kind of staying outside, ladies and gentlemen. We got some stories coming around in Serene deadly murderer plots and and vicious thieves that are cra- that are that are infesting in the town of Serene. They were like, Oh, people are like, Whoa, what? behold, a tabaxi assassin! Oh, oh my god. Who tried to murder Habib, the fighter of the Dragon Fist? However, Habib, the great, strong Habib, fought him off, and now this charcoal white tabaxi is haunted from the law. They're like, oh, but wait, there's more. Seemingly, like there's a, a crowd of deadly tabaxi fighters and thieves as a tabaxi was seen. 
possibly also with him uh, uh, another captive, a uh, Tabaxi who ca who captured another Dragonborn, forcing this Dragonborn to help steal carriages and and from the local stables. Oh my God! And he he describes this Tabaxi oddly a lot like your companion Nazwin. But that's not even the worst of it. We have a black widow among us. Ooh. A deadly viper who, come, who came in the night. Matching the same description of someone who stole a Angewell's original dress and also attempted to murder a local bard by the name of Miguel. And this bard said that he saw this black widow cast magic in the middle of town. Oh, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We have a magic user among us who tries to murder people in their most vulnerable moments. A tabaxi assassin, the nights are dark and full of terrors. <laughs> Well, of course, we is. This is Serene, and this is a fight town. So that means we got bounties, ladies and gentlemen. And you just see the crowds like, yeah, yeah, for the Tabaxi assassin. Three hundred gold. Ooh. <laughs> for the Tabaxi horse thief, a hundred gold. For the safe return, and if you can safely return the Dragonborn for questioning, an additional fifty gold. For the Black Widow, a magic user inside this humble city of Serene. 500 gold. Alive. 600 dead. And we're going to pick it up there. Oh, damn. <laughs> Next one. Damn. 600 dead? Fuck sakes, dude. 50 gold? How turn me in. How is it? <laughs> Stay out of trouble. Frickin'. I, I didn't hear this, but if I did hear this, my character would turn himself in and then <laughs> get the gold and then somehow escape. <laughs> yeah, let's just break out. Let's do this. Does it tells me it wouldn't be that easy though? Nah, it wouldn't. So like Maria may have said earlier, you're in a town where half of you are wanted. Within the first day, I might add. This is just day two. It's not our fault. We're just popular. <laughs> yeah, we're just popular. I'm just I'm baffled being... that I have managed to stay that Dahlia has Apparently. managed to stay out of trouble this long. I know, She's Dahlia, doing it you... intentionally, but intentionally you have not tried to do anything crazy and a gnarly. But uh seems like a good spot to end. I'm trying to keep these sessions such as a little bit tighter because I know it's a little bit later in the day. Uh, for you, Khadija and Justin. So I wanted to keep it like more of like a tight two and a half to three hours, a little bit Appreciate more digestible, it. you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys will join me again for next week, uh, where we deal with um, seeing who Dahlia sends some messages to and how much money, and seeing how they get through the next day with some high bounties on Maria and. Naswin and a simple <laughs> wanted for questioning for Shaka, because yeah, <laughs> force to my ass. <laughs> awesome. My hands were tied. <laughs> it's because you're dragonborn. Exactly. Uh, exactly. The racist in here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Before you take race. me in, can we go to the drive-through of this Burger King? <laughs> <laughs> They'll take you. They, they will. Take they you. would. On that note, guys, thank you so much for joining the stream. I'm going to be posting this on uh, on the YouTube on my YouTube page, Bell Comedy, um, as always, and Kenobi Homies streaming. So if you're watching it through my YouTube or if you're coming on my Twitch later, please absolutely check out uh, Kenobi Homie. The Homie Sean is great, a great Twitch stream. But if you like my style, if you like how I DM, um, you guys can always hire me out at startplaying.games. My name is Eric Bell. Bell Comedy is my handle. That's my TikTok handle, my Cash App, all the handles. Um, also, just because I have you guys here, and in case I am also, as as the name suggests, I am a stand-up comedian. 
And if you would like to see me perform, um, I am uh, performing uh, next week at the uh, 18 bin, um, the feature at the 18 bin Tuesday, eight o'clock in the uh, in the art district in Las Vegas. If you guys are in the Las Vegas area and coming in for a show, I will be there on uh, eight o'clock on Tuesday at the 18 bin on the 19th. I will be at uh, midnight show at Square Bar on the that Saturday, the 23rd. I will be at the Star Lounge uh, on the 24th, 10 o'clock, and I will be also featuring at Artifice Tuesday on the 26th in the art district at Las Vegas. So. If you guys want to come see me uh, perform, those are my dates for this month, and I will have more uh, the next time I see you. But that's my name, Eric Bell, Bell Comedy. And Khadija, tell people where to find you, what they should be checking out. Hey, so uh, you can find me at Khadija al on pretty much any sort of social media platform, but particularly on uh, TikTok. That's where I'm most well-known in the D&D TikTok world as the book dragon, if you like fantasy content and having book recommendations shoved down your throat. Uh, That's the best place to go and check me out. I am also part of another campaign that's streamed on Twitch with uh, Son of Asgard with uh, at World Tree Quests. We are in the the Founders campaign and the character I play there with a couple of other lovely people is very, very different from this character. But uh, yeah, it's still a great group, still a great story. So come check us out on Mondays at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and our next session is tomorrow night, so check us out. Awesome. Definitely. Definitely. Sean? I uh, go by Kenobi Homie, as Bill said, on all platforms, Instagram, Twitch, uh, TikTok, which I'm barely on. Um, uh, Yeah, I I do reels, and I do cool little Twitch streams streams with ghost videos at the end. if you would go to my Instagram, all my my reels are flopping right now. So any support will, will help. <laughs> yeah. All righty, Justin, where can they find you? You can find me wherever toys are sold at yeah. Freddy's Roommate on Twitter, Instagram, and on the TikTok. The Tiki Taki. Um, love the TikToks. Love the TikToks and bring it home, Rich. Hey, friends. Uh, so like it says right below me, uh, you can uh, you can find me anywhere on uh, Twitter or Instagram. Uh, that is also my cash app as well. If you just want to send me five bucks, it's pretty chill. Um, you, you can always download my podcast, Development Hell, wherever podcasts are available. Currently, the newest episode is about Kingdom Hearts. So um, yeah, if I can give you guys a review, someone said that I have explained the story of Kingdom Hearts in the quickest and most succinct way possible. So if you want to hear that, that's an achievement to check out for sure. Um, but uh, other than that, you can find me uh, generally anywhere. Uh, uh, I'm going to be starting my own Twitch stream pretty soon for my campaign. I have uh, uh, my homebrew campaign in the Marvel Multiverse RPG campaign. Uh, so that'll be fun. That'll be starting in about two weeks or so uh, when I beef up my whole channel. And then uh, so I'll promote that more in, in about two apps. Awesome. Awesome. That's the show. Cool. Thank you, guys. I hope to see you guys next uh, session. Y'all have a great day. Peace. Bye. 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 Woo.